Hey, what is up everybody, Blades for here, and today I for you in the video of Black Clover Mobile. Inside today's video, guys, we're going to be doing a full guide on SR Voltos here. And this guide, we're going to be going over pretty much what makes Voltos so good here, how to play him, as well as his abilities at hand, dupes, and other things of that sort. So if you guys are interested in that type of stuff, be sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy the video here. And of course, if you are new here, be sure to check out the channel because we have it all here. Um, we usually do daily uploads here where it comes down to at least PVP updates, things that may not be so good for the community, giveaways, and even guides. So if this thing sounds like something you really are interested in, be sure, of course, to check out the channel and, of course, hit that subscribe button. It does help me out quite a lot. But um, let's jump straight into the video. Now, as many of you guys do know, Valtos is one of these characters that is absolutely a unit who is just so annoying to kind of deal with, especially if you play PVP. So if we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this character here, he really does have it all here. So we're immediately going to start off with looking at this character's, um, at least I wanna say his skills here, what he has to offer to the whole team here, as well as anything he can pretty much do. Now going ahead and looking at his skills here, he has these three immediately going with his special, his skill two and his skill one. Now with these on, at least on the screen, you should see some translations pop up immediately here. We're going to be immediately looking at the skill one. Now with this character, he has a move called Enhanced Magic Bullet here, which applies 10% increased stamina to an ally with the lowest stamina. Alongside of this, if you guys decide to upgrade this skill here, not only does it help with his actual attack and his magic attack, but it also helps with his overall stamina in general when it does come down to at least getting back up. Now, for some people who don't understand what stamina is as well as endurance inside of this game is pretty much it's kind of like speed and then we also have the endurance side of things which is just making sure how often you can really get up there um while also enduring what you have already there which is speed now this pretty much helps you just jump up to the plate if you're using your skill one which eventually you might have to do when it does come down to using Baltos himself Though, it's not always something that you'll need to use, especially seeing that um, most units or most teams that utilize this character are meant for like nuking or immediately getting rid of the enemy. So this skill one is going to be one of the few things that you can upgrade, but is only optional. Now going into his skill two, which is what we will be using quite a lot here. Um, this skill two is actually kind of dangerous here. It is called Space Creation in which applies a increased magic attack level three to the designated ally for two turns. Now, pretty much once you use this skill too, you'll end up having to click a certain person. This immediately will give them that magic attack. So make sure, of course, they are a magic attack DPS -er or something of the sort, um, being sure that they're getting that level three magic attack. Alongside, it has a 50% chance of applying block stamina reduction to an ally for, two, for at least one turn. Now, this is something that's kind of crazy here because each time you level it up here, it gives you that extra block stamina reduction chance, and which is going up by 10%. So instead of it being 50% for an ally, it can actually be around 90% for an ally if you go ahead and upgrade it and get this thing up here. Now, pretty much what that does is when you're under this effect, you will be reduced or at least immune to stamina reduction here. So this is something that really does come in handy. Now, if you are using Valtos' skill page, it also gives yourself a little bit of an increased uh, accuracy level three, and this is pretty much giving you increased accuracy by 32%. Going alongside this here, we go to one of his most useful uh, moves here, which is his ultimate. And it's not because of how you want to go ahead and upgrade it, but in fact, it's actually just because of the stat that it gives off just by using it. Now, after doing the, at least these several hits that you get from at least the ultimate itself here, it applies a 20% increased stamina to all allies here, making them ultra quick pretty much to get up to the plate and pretty much a hassle to deal with. With this in mind here, the upgrades are kind of eh, you don't really need to get them up unless you're doing something like I am, which is just trying to get up CC. Um, This only for upgrading him, you only get skill attack as well as a uh, magic attack by 5%. Isn't anything too crazy, but it does still make a difference inside of your CC type of amount. Alongside with his skill, or at least his uh, linked skill here, which you will be using if you have someone like paired with him, and someone who actually utilizes their link skill a lot here, such as like Mars here, he will then apply a buff on the partner, increasing their crit rate level five to the partner's attack, as well as having a 50% chance to apply 10% increased stamina to the partner. 
So this can get upgraded to at least get up the skill damage itself as well, but also increase the overall stamina going over to the character that he is buffing. Now, this is a 10% stamina increase as well that you could possibly have. So in, or, in at least in total, it could possibly be around 20% increased stamina if it does proc. So this is something that's very, very annoying when it does come down to Baltos' actual character. And it's something that also can be uh, interesting to be used here. Now, when it of course comes down to his skill, which is one of the few things that you want to have as his passive um, regularly here, his passive ends up giving you a 5% reduced damage taken here, but only taken by debuffers. Something kind of interesting here that he actually plays, which actually is pretty good for his kit, being that you're going to be running him in PvP a decent bit. Um, you're going to be fighting people with Lotus and things like that. So this does make a little bit of a difference, seeing that you're going to be a little bit more tankier to them. But still, even then, it's kind of iffy. Now, going along with this character and pretty much how to play this character here, we're going to immediately go into a fight here. And which, if, if you guys were paying attention at the very beginning, you guys kind of saw how he works. Now, this character immediately, you're going to be wanting to run him with a DPSer and at least a couple DPSers or probably a buffer here, in which immediately he's utilizing a fair amount of things. Now, as I did say, his skill or at least his skill three, aka his special is going to be his most important part on this thing here, in which gives you your increased stamina immediately here. You want to always pop this off at the very beginning, giving everyone their stamina increase so they can immediately get up to the plate. Of course, if he's going to be higher in dupes, which we will be going over right after this, you will end up seeing that immediately the character will actually uh, be even more helpful while doing something like this. But remember, of course, alongside that just makes you get up into speed here. So if you really want to actually utilize him the right way, you would end up, especially with Noel, using her shield, letting everyone pretty much attack her. And then the second round, once you buffed her just in with the accuracy move here, which if we go ahead and look at our uh, Noel for stats here, we end up getting us some magic attack level three, which is what we came up with. If I had his skill page as well, he would have that accuracy as well in which uh, will help us out quite a lot. But if we go ahead and look at least our Noel, she ends up getting a lot more damage off, especially seeing this buff is on her. Now, of course, that buff only does last for a little bit of time. It doesn't last that very long. I think it's only for at least two turns. So you have to utilize it pretty quickly. But after this, pretty much when it comes down to Valtos, he only does uh, at least his basic attacks, which does increase your stamina at times but it isn't anything too spectacular. This character overall is definitely one of those characters that will probably be used for a hot minute, at least until we get another speedster coming. And uh, he's definitely making himself very well known. This is how you're gonna really gonna wanna play this character quite a lot. And even if you at least have him set up on a auto type of phase here, you would immediately want to make sure his special skill goes first. And then after that, going his skill two, to be able to help out whoever is in your auto team immediately in a way such as this. So this is how you would like this probably set up to at least making sure um, everything is going to go perfectly right here, no matter who you run and whoever who's he's besides at least. Now going alongside this, we're gonna be going ahead and talking about his dupes here. Now, when of course we look at the character's dupes, you always get up a little bit of CC as well as you get yourself your LR passives. Now, currently I only have him two, so I only have his LR passive once here. But of course, if you do have him more than that here, you get a lot more things into play. So if we go ahead and look at this real quick, we check out his LR passives here. We look at his first one immediately. You only get 112 boost inside of CC going into at least defense and HP, which is pretty nice. At the second one here, you're getting yourself 1,112 CC extra here which is pretty dang good going more into HP and defense. Afterwards, getting a little bit more into HP and defense on the star level three. Leading up to the star level four, which is probably one of the most important ones, seeing that it not only adds onto your HP and defense, but it also adds into your overall speed. Now, if I'm right, this character can be capped out at 124 speed immediately. So what you would like to do is immediately try to get this four star to get him to 122. And then at level 100, you should get the last two um, speed stats here for the character, maxing him out at 124. This gives you 122 extra CC, but then you also have his final um, one here, which pretty much does 10% more damage to debuffers, or at least reduce damage 
by debuffers here by 10%. Which is very handy to have as i did say before lotus is usually a little bit of a problem inside of pvp so this character getting that 10 percent um reduced damage towards them is actually kind of nice or at least them towards him is actually kind of nice to make sure everything goes pretty much right in in the at least outgoing things here now when it does come down to this character's best grimoire which is something that you really want to pay attention to it's going to be his own grimoire here now his own grimoire i actually unfortunately do not have i could have swore i had it but i had to get rid of get rid of it recently seeing i was not expecting on building the uh, baltos here but you would like to use his own grimoire now the main reasoning for this is because his grimoire specifically not only just of course helps him but also really just comes in handy in general so we'll go ahead and take a look at it real quick you guys can see what it's called it's called cultist retribution in which in this here he applies five to twenty percent increased stamina to yourself after using a special skill now as we do know with all of us here after using a special skill you're already getting that increased spent at least stamina which is actually really really nice to have here in which that normal increased stamina is already going to be very helpful for at least your team but this also allows him to get that extra increase which allows him to get back up to the plate immediately use his skill too and pretty much keep everyone in a speedster type motion now, of course, if you do not have this card, which also this card is the reason that you also will end up getting the extra accuracy on your skill too. If you don't have this card, of course, you are able to use um, Fenrir's card. Fenrir's card does come in handy when it does come down into this here, in which when it does come down to this, you will be able to use your skill too, in which your skill too will end up having a 25 through 50% chance of applying 10% increased stamina to yourself. Now, once again, this is mainly based on helping Baltos get back up to the plate here, but it isn't anything too crazy, especially seeing it's the skill two that you're going to pop this off and every round that you're going to be going, you're usually going to be using your skill three. So this is only going to take effect probably like once you get to the plate again, which um isn't too bad, but definitely is a downgrade compared to his other SR card. Now, everything else that you could possibly run on this character um there are some other ssr functions but i wouldn't really suggest too too many of them mainly because they don't really do too much of a uh difference on baltos himself you definitely would be wanting to run at least the sr card when it comes to his own card on his character seeing you're mainly just going to be using them for that initial speed immediately here now going ahead and looking into Pretty much everything else when it does to come to this character which is going to be the thing that a lot of you guys have been looking forward to which is his gear now gear wise here i would recommend using two at least defense and then four speed here four speed is definitely going to give you that up that you really are looking forward to and that's mainly because you're getting yourself some nice speeds that's when it does come out into this type of deal here now with the at least four speed here that you're going to end up having here you're getting yourself not only the uh for the two set at least the five percent buff for two turns at the start of a wave but you're also getting yourself an extra five plus speed for everybody who has this set on for the four set this is actually very much so a very pivotal thing that you want to keep on him thing we do want to outspeed our enemy immediately which is absolutely amazing now of course having the enhanced version of defense is also pretty dang good because just for having the two stat here which is pretty nice to have just chilling here you get yourself a 30 percent extra defense here immediately here and you really want to try and exploit keeping him alive so for having the four piece of course you end up getting yourself some hp pieces uh, a defense piece and then of course two magic attack pieces which is nice but then on the other one here you want to get yourself a little bit more of a magic attack here so you always will put this one here exploiting some of the uh room that you'll have seeing this is the only way you'll be able to fit certain two pieces here and then immediately putting the defensive piece you could use another magic attack piece though i would not see it to be mostly beneficial for him seeing that um magic attack isn't what he really specializes in you just want to keep him for survivability so defense would be most likely his best other option keeping you in that four two situation now, of course, going in last for one of his final things that we're going to be going over, which is his traits here for his traits here. I don't have any of them just yet, but we are going to be farming them up today. You're going to be wanting to go for these bottom two. 
one of them being the seven percent for attacking here immediately and then the other one being the five percent of overall increased damage this is something that's very very helpful for this character mainly just made for at least a little bit of cc as for the big box here you're going to want to go with the one that has attack and magic attack on it seeing it's going to benefit his magic attack stats here as well upgrade his cc a little bit more than you love than you would actually like to have going in on the defense circle here you would want to go with these two being 20 percent defense here and then the other one is more of a pve by waves that we gather defense four percent here and two percent but this is only for five turns so of course you would have to make the uh best of it no i mean only for five stacks so you have to make the best of it with the five stacks that you do have but each wave this does reset so be sure to remember that going with the middle one here i would definitely suggest going with the defense big stone here mainly exploiting it for the cc wise here which you should get depending on the day defense stone you could get around a thousand up or eight or higher for cc when it does come down to this so be sure to exploit that as best as you can going into for the green ones here you would like to do these first two immediately which i'm just going to say uh, one and two here and which one over here gives you 10 percent of a, from right health recovery immediately here which is actually nice to have and then the two one here is mainly going to be exploiting your sp stats here because you do want to get your sp back as fast as possible in order to spam this character's skill two as well as spam um, his ultimate in general seeing that you're going to need that speed up as fast as possible so these are going to be his best green traits here and then for the big green trait immediately in the middle here you want to at least have a speed stone speed stone mainly just because you want him to be the fastest you can do not to be outsped by anybody because of course if you do have a highly duped william most likely you're not going to be passing him but um if you do have the speed stone and the other opponent does not have the speed stone here you most likely will have that upper edge on anyone who's there to be able to at least set up your whole team for um success and continue moving on from there now overall when it does come down to this character i have to say he is definitely very very useful Ever since I got him, he's been absolutely an asset to just like keeping me up in PvP, helping me out with PvE, and of course is absolutely amazing. He definitely deserves his spot as one of the top three speedsters, whether that's going from Fenrir, William, and himself. I would definitely say he's probably going to be like William, then he's next, and then Fenrir. But either way, all three are absolutely amazing units, and he definitely deserves to be talked about the most. Now, down below in the comment section, you guys, I want you guys to tell me who you would like to see as the next complete guide here. Baltos was absolutely amazing. And if there's anything I left out and things that you would like to know about when it comes to the next complete guides, be sure to tell me because, of course, this one was kind of interesting. I kind of got the layout down how the way I would like to at least do things here. So um, I would like to know how you feel about this video in general. So, so next time, everybody, hope you guys stay safe, stay sharp and stay determined and peace out.